Good morning to my YouTube friends. This is Friday. I think it's June, June the 5th, 2020. I have a calendar over here to the right of me sometimes and I forget about the date. But I do know this is Friday morning. If this is the first time you've ever uh, watched my channel, I am Sheila Texter. This is Sheila Texter's one-stop coaching channel where every Wednesday I put out videos and Friday on Wednesdays I talk about being a author the writing journey I share the book that I just wrote which I'm going to show you something in just a minute because this actually comes into the coaching Friday channel but I am a transformational coach I am faith-based and my goal is to get people to I want to help people my clients to change their world one scripture at a time. But my main goal is to help a person awaken their dreams, their passion, to find that purpose in their lives, and then to take action to bring it about, to manifest it. Because really, deep down inside of us, there's a dream, there's a goal. And some people now, some people are living their dreams. They are successful in what they are doing. And everybody defines success in a different way. So you have to find what that means to you. To me, I've been successful for a long time because, and I'm not talking about monetary or the things I have. I'm just talking about knowing God and having peace in my life. Even, even when I was failing God, he allowed me to keep my mind. To me, that is success. That a God that would love us so much that even when we are failing him, even when we are being disobedient, even when we are slapping his hands, that he doesn't let go of us. And he doesn't just turn us over, you know, to the enemy and let the enemy destroy our mind. That is success, my friend. It truly is. If you've got a mind to get up, get yourself dressed, you know, and to uh, help your family, whatever it is, you are, you are successful. But I also want to show you something. I want to show you what changing your words in, that can change your world, changing your thoughts can change your world. If we could ever get this mindset to transform into a biblical truth, into those things and those promises of God, and to walk in the callings and to walk in what he promises us. We are not a defeated foe. We are God's children. Yes, we go through storms and yes, we go through wars and yes, we are fighting you know, day in and day out. We're fighting spiritual wars, physical wars, emotional wars. But the thing about it is you've got to keep fighting. You don't just quit, give up, and run in the corner and start sucking your thumb and start pouting about everything. Because when you do that, when you do that, the enemy, man, he's like, oh, I got him down for the count, you know. And then he moves in with that much more strength. But today, I want to show my uh, YouTubers, my friends, a dream that was in here and in here, and now it's manifested. I know, I want to show you something. This is the fake, this is the fake one that I had. It's, I've just kind of got it on a random book. It was a piece of paper, a copy paper that I copied off and I put it on a, another book. So I could hold it in my hand. So I could see it. And that, my friend, I feel like Brian brought the real deal. Now, this is not for sale. This is a proof. And I don't know how much you follow me or how much you watch, but I did a live Facebook video of unwrapping the book, unboxing my book yesterday to see the printed version, to actually see the book in a printed version. And I've got about three of them in to hand out to beta readers, to readers that are going to read it 
and look for any kind of typos, the flow of the book, or something that maybe don't make sense or the reader don't understand. Uh, try to find, I've got to try to find someone that don't really know the story. So if they read it, it'll make sense to them. So that's what I got to do. But anyway, I just want to show you, it is so, I mean, it's the it's blurring on it, but I'm, I'm, there is a few things that I already see that I want my editor to work on, but I'm excited. Like this here is like, uh, this, I have three parts in this book, part one, part two, and part three. And like part three is new beginnings. And so there's like a road going up because it's a new road. It's a new path. But uh, but then the front of it has the little pictures of the woman bowing. So I kind of want to get that adjusted. I either want this to fill up the whole page or I, I want to downsize this to be about that size. You know, I want a um, consistency in the book. The content, the content is, is going to be absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's just a true raw story. But I don't want to spend a whole lot on the book about the content of the book. I will do that next Wednesday on the author writing video that I put out on Wednesdays. Today, the main thing I wanted to share with you about today is you can manifest your dreams. You can. You can write them down. I'm telling you, it's something that I learned over the last six or seven years, and I'm telling you, it turned my world around. When I became, um, when I became knowledgeable of the Word of God to really know the truth. Now, I'm 54 years old. I got the Holy Ghost and got saved at 18 years old. And it took me about 30, about 30 years before I really really got rooted and grounded in the Word of God. I'm ashamed of that. Um, I hate it that I wasted so many years. But you know what? I, I can't cry over spilt milk. I can't go back and undo those years. So you know what? I don't know how many years I got left. I could die tomorrow, but I could live another 20 years. I don't know. But I do know this one thing, that things are wrapping up, and they're wrapping up fast in the kingdom of God. But I don't know how much longer God is going to let this world tarry or that we're going to tarry. So I'm going to pray. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to continue to write. I'm going to continue to, I'm, going, I'm, I'm already writing uh, New Beginnings 2. I don't know how long it'll be before it comes out because I'm kind of writing my journey as I go. But I'm also investing in writing some B devotionals. And like I said, again, I will address that on Wednesdays. But today, I just wanted to show you that I'm a witness. I'm a participant of coaching. I am a participant of what I'm going to help you with and what I want to teach is something I did myself. There ain't nothing like teaching something that you have experienced, something that you have done and you've watched God move in that area. So in six years, now it took me a little bit over a year, about 16 months to get this wrote, 18 months maybe, and get it manifested to where it's the real deal and it's in my hands. And I'm, I'm continuing on my journey. So I'm, I'm, I'm successful because Success to me is a journey. Every day that I get up and every day that I apply the Word of God to my life, every day that I pursue something else that I want to see manifest in my life, I'm being successful because it's really, it's a journey. So I've been on here almost 10 minutes and my goal, my goal is to keep my videos between 10 and 15 minutes because I want people to watch them. I want people to engage in them. I want you to sub subscribe to my channel, like it, share it, put the word out there, comment on it. Let me know what you feel. Let me know what you might need um, to, to work on and give me ideals. If you've got something you want me to address on my coaching channel, I will do it. If you've got something that you wanna ask me on, on my writing journey, my book journey, ask me. I'm in no wise saying that, you know, that I've got it all together and I know everything. 
I will just share what I do know and share my journey with you. So I'm excited today. Hopefully within about two weeks, I will have a book of books in here for all the people that have purchased from me. I'm going to get to hand them out. I'm going to sign them. And my friend, I just want you to know that we have only just begun. Let God speak to you today. Find out. Ask yourself, what am I here for? What is my purpose? And but you know, because of asking that, this was born. This was born because I asked that. I said, what am I here for, God? What am I supposed to be doing? And then it's like, you're fixing to be out of there. You're fixing to be out of here, Sheila. What do you want on your tombstone? You know, what do you want that dash from Sheila Texter from 1965 to whenever I die? There's going to be a dash there. So what happened in that dash? What did I leave for my children in that dash? What did I leave for my companion, my grandchildren? You know, I want them to live hopefully off of some of the things that I'm building up now, my books, my ministry, the coaching. You know, I want to write books on coaching eventually. You know, I don't ever want to quit growing and moving forward. But it's all because I changed my outlook. I began to see with not physically. I began to see things in the spirit. I, I began to write things down like Habakkuk 2 and 2. Write the vision, write it plain, so that the people that read it can run with it. You write your vision, and when you read it, you can run with it. And when you write out your vision and it gets plain to you, then the other people will be able to read into that vision, and they'll be able to run with that vision as well. And they'll begin to run in their own visions. So be encouraged today. Be strong in the Lord. Be mighty in God. Believe what God says about you in his word. We are his children. We are his prize. And we are, you know, the workmanship of his hands. And he loves us. And he cherish, cher cherishes us. He wants us to succeed. It, it makes him look like the God he is when God's children step up and succeed in every area. Does that take us to a place that we're not affected by hurt or grief or heartache or problems no but it takes us to a place that when it does come and it will come it's here now upon us in every family but when it does come it gives us the knowledge and the strength to know that who we need to depend on so i'm going to get off of here because i could i could go on for hours in the word of god and his grace and his power and his strength but i'm going to get off here for today be encouraged. Hang in there. Have a great weekend. I've been enjoying the summertime. And hopefully next Wednesday, I'll be back with a video on uh, some more of my writing journey. I will share a little bit more of the book, possibly, and uh, maybe some more on my devotionals that I am writing as of now. Y'all have a great day, and have a great weekend, and I'll see y'all next Wednesday.